In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three Sigma face brushes. So if you want to see these brushes in use and why I recommend them, it makes you keep on watching. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also feel free to stick around and subscribe and hit the bell notification. So if you want to see why I recommend these three face brushes, make sure you keep on watching. I've loved Sigma for years. Um, it's probably like my favorite brush brand to get brushes from. There are other good brands that have brushes, but like I own the most from Sigma. They're great quality. They last for years. Um, they're just, I, I mean, and they're affordable. Also, they have sales fairly often and I just, I can't say enough good things about them. So I thought I would show with, show you guys my top three Sigma face, uh, face brush recommendations. I also have a video. This was like literally the third video that I posted, but I'll make sure I link it for you guys where I share my favorite Sigma eye brushes. So once again, I will make sure I link the, leave that linked for you guys. You should definitely check that out as well, but make sure you watch this one first. So as you can tell, I already have like a lot of my makeup on, but I have saved it to do in the powder of my face just because that is, those are the brushes that I'm going to be talking about. Also, they're not in any particular order. These, it's just the order that I use them. So the first I am going to share with you guys, the Sigma F20 brush. So this is the large powder brush. And I love using this for, uh, you know, as the name implies, obviously, to apply powder. This is very, very soft. I'm not sure if you can kind of tell maybe, or at least like see how, I guess, flexible it is. Once again, I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder and setting my face. It's fairly dense as well, um, but I find it's like the perfect density. Like it's not super, super flimsy, but it's also not so stiff that it feels like you're rubbing off your foundation. Also, I will of course make sure that I leave linked in the description box down below a link to all three of these brushes if you like them or if you like any one of them, make sure you check that out. I know I don't have too many things to say about the first one, but this is the Sigma F20. I love it a lot. If you're looking for a powder brush, I highly recommend this one. My probably like one of my all time favorite brushes, I've had this for quite some time, is the Sigma F23 like the words right here are rubbing off just to kind of give you guys a judgment for how long I've had this. I love this brush so much. I once again, I don't know, like I feel like I'm going to say this with all of them. I can't say enough good things about this. I highly recommend this brush. It's great for contour, great uh, quality. The handle is nice and sturdy and I really, really highly recommend this brush as well. And obviously I use this to apply my contour. I'm just going to go in with NARS Laguna. Get some tap off the excess. Also, I don't have a mirror behind my camera today, so I'm just gonna use this Tarte palette as my mirror. I know I use this in a lot of videos for applying my contour, but it's because I just really love it, and this is the primary contour brush that I use. I will also make sure that I leave linked, at least I have a couple contour videos. I'll make sure I leave linked at least one of them, because recently I did teach my mom how to contour for the first time, and she uses this brush. So I'll make sure I leave that linked for you guys as well. So that is the Sigma F23. I highly recommend this brush for contour. Also really quick, I just grabbed my mom's. I got mom's brush. I actually got this for her. This is the Sigma F30. I just wanted to show these got um, like in comparison. I obviously bought these online. I thought that this one was gonna be a, a lot rounder, or at least that's what it looked like from the picture. I mean, no complaints. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just so you can see the comparison, because I thought, like, I noticed, like, um, from this angle, you can see it's fairly flat. So I thought that this one was going to be a more, a little bit more rounder. But the biggest difference that I can tell is just the Sigma F30 is taller than the Sigma F20. I've not used this one because, like I said, this is my mom's. But I just kind of wanted to show this to you as well as like, a little comparison. That brings us to the last brush. This is the most recent one that I've gotten. But I also really like this. This is for applying highlight. This is a Sigma tapered highlighter. This is the Sigma F35 specifically. I think this is good. I obviously, as you can see, or if you've watched any of my videos, I typically use the It Brushes for Ulta, the fan brush. And I think that that kind of gives a little bit more of a dispersed. This is a little bit more of a concentrated. So if you really want like a concentrated highlight, like a highlight that you for sure cannot miss, this is the brush for you. Once again, the bristles are super soft as with the same with the other two that I mentioned. And um, as I mentioned, this is just like for applying that highlighter a little bit more dense. So I'm going to be applying the Becca Opal highlight. I've used this in several videos, but I'm going to be using that as my demonstration for it. I really 
really I feel like sometimes you can't really see highlight on camera unfortunately or at least at the angle but I hope that you can see it because once again like trust me in real life at least it is not subtle by any means I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the tip of my nose And those are all of the brushes that I have to talk about, but before I kind of give you my overall thoughts and conclusion, let me go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that completes my video. Those are the three brushes that I have to mention to you guys, kind of short and sweet, but I just really wanted to share this, like a specifically devoted video to these brushes because once again, I think that Sigma is a great company and they make great quality brushes. I love the Sigma F20 for applying powder, the Sigma F23 for applying contour, love this brush so much. And then the Sigma F35 for applying highlight, especially like a little bit more concentrated highlight. I love this. That completes my video for today. What is your favorite Sigma brush? Make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Really curious. As I mentioned, I love Sigma and I'm curious to try out more of their brushes. If you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, once again, feel free to stick around and subscribe. I upload a beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.